Hey, what's up, Abba? How do we hear? Oh, um, how do we hear? So whenever sound waves come outside of the uh, atmosphere, your auricle or your earlobe, what it does is it funnels sound waves into your outer or external, external ear, and it hits your eardrum or your tympanic membrane. And that vibration, it conducts with something called your ossicles, which are the three tiniest bones in your body, known as the malleus, the incus, and the stapes. And so those three tiny bones are known uh, to be inside the middle ear. And what they do is they vibrate with every sound wave that you have. And as the eardrum, eardrum vibrates or the tympanic membrane vibrates, those ossicles, they shake. And the stapes is connected to something called the oval window, which is part of uh, the opening into your inner ear. And the inner ear is composed of your semicircular canals, your vestibule, where you have your labyrinth. And you also, you also have the cochlea. So those vibrations that the little bones, the ossicles are making, they shake the inner ear. And inside the vestibule and the semicircular canals, you have this fluid, endolymph and perilymph. And that fluid, as it moves around, as it shakes inside, it communicates with the nerve fibers. And that transmits impulses through these epithelial cells inside your cochlea. And it's really weird because, or interesting, because those, those, those vibrations and the fluid moving, that translates into what we hear right now. So from the ear or the inner ear, you have something called the vestibular cochlear nerve, and that conducts impulses to your temporal lobe of the brain. And that's how we're able to hear what we hear, which is pretty interesting. So big issues with hearing is like, if you have a lot of cerumen or earwax, you're gonna have muffled sounds because the sound waves can't hit the eardrum adequately. Sometimes in your, in your middle ear, you have like pus developing because of otitis media or a middle ear infection or you have um, spongy bone developing in your middle ear, and that also leads to conductive hearing losses. Neurosensory hearing losses, where there's something wrong with the nerves, usually inner ear issues. And to differentiate conductive hearing loss versus uh, neurosensory, you really wanna look out for any issues with like balance. So if the patient can't hear well, but if they have issues with balance or vertigo, that's probably an inner ear issue. If the patient just can't hear well, it's probably something happening or obstructing the sound waves from the outer or the middle ear. And that's essentially how we hear Papa. Now, now real quick, uh, just check me out with this little putt that I'm about to make. All right. Here, come on this side so you can catch it better. Yeah. All right, let's see. Get my Tiger Woods on. Yeah. All right.